Hey, hello everybody. Jim Fleeler, Vice President of Sales for Charlotte Products. Thanks for joining us today on our, our session, our educational session. Today's question is really about how do I choose the right disinfectant when it comes down to some of the specific ones that we carry. So we carry our Enviro Solution 64H and we also carry our Enviro Solutions 364. Both of them are available in the United States and Canada. The difference though, what you really need to understand the first one is if you are in the United States, a registration in the United States for a disinfectant is an EPA number. That's on the front of every single one of the labels. It stands for Environmental Protection Agency. If you're in Canada, you need a DIN number, which is Drug Identification Number. So that's the first thing you need to understand is, is you need a DIN or an EPA depending on what country that you're in. The next thing you really need to look at is, is why would I choose ES364H over ES364? And there is some fundamental differences for sure. Both are excellent uh, fungicides, bactericides, uh, mildestats, deodorizers, the whole works. But there is a couple of differences that you need to understand. The one thing that I really want to point out on any disinfectant, and this is 64H, is you must read the label, okay? All of the information is on the label for environmental services, for infection prevention officers, for anybody who's making a decision. So every bit of information, including that DIN number or EPA number is on there. All of the dilution ratios are there. All of the parts per million, in other words, the validation that you need to ensure you're using it at the correct dilution ratio and you've got the parts per million to ensure that you've got that microbial efficacy. Also, if there's any sensitivities about, do I need to rinse it? Do I need to uh, do a potable water rinse? Do I, do, do I avoid some surfaces and things? So one of the first things I could tell you, regardless, is always thoroughly read the directions that are here, okay? And it'll actually lead you, if you follow them, you'll be absolutely successful without question okay so what is the difference between uh, microbial efficacy and sort of sort of thinking it will actually do this well at Charlotte we actually have every bit of information you need on your website okay on our website sorry okay so you have not only the label secondary labels posters, all of those kinds of things that are available, but the microbial efficacy. So in other words, if you're wondering if it actually kills this pathogen, you'll see right here uh, that everything is absolutely listed there. So there's no guesswork whatsoever. And that's a self-serving website that you can do that. So let's talk about 64H for one, okay? Number one, intermediate disinfectant level great for all of those facilities that I was talking about, okay? As a matter of fact, if you're wondering which one to choose and you really want to have some uh, short notes on which one to choose, you'll go down this chart, you'll see 64H and you'll see right here, okay, that I, I will use this in uh, education, K-12, to college universities, building service contractors, uh, property management, public facilities, healthcare, LTC. You can see here it's rated at number two, which is intermediate. You can see the dilution ratios one to 64 and so on, okay? So it'll tell you really the benefits of what that is. Number one, it's a neutral disinfectant. What does that mean? You can safely use it on floors that have coatings on them, shiny surfaces and things. It won't bite into that. So that's very, very key. That neutral pH, when you have a product that's a neutral pH, particularly a disinfectant, it means it's safer. So employee wellness is there for you. Number two, it has an unbelievable odor counteractant, a, a deodorizer in there. So you've got clean, safe spaces when you're done. When it comes down though, and this is really what I like about it, Number one, okay, when you follow the direction labels, okay, it is a 10 minute contact for any of the stated pathogens that you're trying to kill. It has a virucidal contact for 10 minutes as well. It actually is registered with the governments for SARS-CoV-2 related virus uh, protection, as a matter of fact, when you, when you go from there. So it is a really, really good broad range disinfectant that I would use pretty well in any, any type facility. In the United States, the same thing under an EPA number, you've got a 10 minute contact for basically everything that you need, including SARS-CoV-2 as well. And it's a product that really, 
uh, is in several different put-ups. We have a gallon container or 3.78 liter in Canadian in metric. We have a 2 liter concentrate and we also have a 4.73 liter contract or, con or con sorry container and we'll talk about the wall units that are behind me a little later on. Now a couple of the, the, uh, uh, the things that you really need PPM paper without question. Okay, you need to understand what it is. Another reference I'll point out here is the importance of, of disinfecting and using measuring the parts per million, which is PPM. This is a great document, again, self-served on our website for you, that basically tells you the importance. It reviews our five critical elements of disinfectant. Okay, it will also tell you the variances that are involved with parts per million. It'll tell you how to test. It will give you a typical range of whether it's quats or sanitizers. It'll actually refer to the color-coded uh, uh, PPM paper test again and refer to that. And what it really does, because this is where, where, again, another important decision, how to calculate PPM, and more importantly, how, which product at, at which dilution ratio is, what is the PPM ready for you? So you don't even need to worry about it. It is right here. So if I look at ES364, I can tell right here that I want to have a parts per million here of 854. So then I would take my test paper at my end use dilution, right, or make sure I test it, and make sure I do that throughout my cleaning shift or whatever it may be. So a great tool for you, again, self-serve there, right? A couple of things on dilution ratio that's key, okay? I like our little Charlotte products portionate, right? This is very, very accurate. It's very inexpensive. You basically take the cap off your container. We have a, uh, uh, a foil induction seal there for safety and security and cleanliness. I've already taken that off. You basically thread this in, okay, dip it in. Whatever the unit of measure is that I want in milliliters or ounces, you can see here I just do a gentle squeeze like so. And then I would take this and aim this into my mop bucket or my auto scrubber and away I go. Okay, no more glug glugging. You'll save 25% of your, your budget just by being accurate dilution ratio and safer and make sure that you've got the kill properties in your facility that you need. So why would I pick 64H? Everyday, intermediate, exceptional kill properties, exceptional security against some of the risks of the pathogens, including SARS-CoV-2 excellent soil detergency, excellent clean results, safe neutral pH, one of our champion products for years and years and years. You will never go wrong using this. 364, why do you choose Enviro Solutions 364? When you are a facility that has that higher level risk for infection prevention, lowering the risk of cross-contamination, that's when you choose ES364. Okay? What I like about it, a neutral disinfectant. So not only does it give you the peace of mind of disinfection, but it also is safer for your floors if you have floors or sensitive surfaces where polymer coatings are there and things because you don't want to harm those and don't want to remove it. So that neutral disinfectant on the pH scale, important for employee wellness, for those employees that sometimes forget to wear their protective equipment, uh, so it's actually a little bit safer there to avoid irritation to skin and rashes and, and things like that, and employee wellness. So 364, high level disinfectant, a lot of kill properties. The biggest benefit with 364 over traditional disinfectants is the dwell time. The dwell time on 364 is five minutes. Typical disinfectants are 10. We know that out of every single dollar a facility spends in our industry, over 90% is attributed to labor. If we can cut your dwell time alone in half, that's 50% labor savings, which is a tremendous economic value for you. So how do I know what it does? Well, we have our selection chart, so our levels of disinfectant. So you can see 
Number one is considered low, number two is considered, considered intermediate, and three is considered high. If I look down here, 364 is a three, so verification that it is high. My dilution ratio, one to 64, so very economical that way. That doesn't mean mix it any other way, by the way. One to 64 is its dilution ratio. I've got all of my EPA numbers and DIN registration numbers so used in the United States and Canada. So it's very important. You cannot use a disinfectant in a healthcare facility in an opposite country unless the actual EPA number or DIN number applies. So if I look at the, the benefits that it has here, the five minute dwell time is key. The neutral disinfectant is also key. One thing about it as well, when I look at the microbial efficacy sheets, if I look here, the biggest concern these days is SARS-CoV-2 or coronavirus-2, I mean, oh, 60 second dwell time. 60 seconds, okay, in a, any type of facility that you've got. Registered for norovirus, if you're in the cruise industry, if you're in the Mediterranean, if you're in the Caribbean, all of these places and you want to really protect your passengers of norovirus registration as well for that, which is usually uh, very difficult to get as a matter of fact, so it's there. So exceptional detergency. If you have uh, even up to some severe levels of grease and grime that you need to remove, if you have right to the gentlest of, of contact surfaces that don't come in uh, severe contact with heavy soils, a gentle detergency spectrum on this particular product as well. So a fungicide, a mildestat, a deodorizer, a bactericide, a viricide, everything that you need to go. So really our lesson today is we have our, our long-standing Envira Solution 64H, great product, 10 minute dwell time. We have our new champion, ES 364, five minutes, uh, norovirus claim, um, and, and I mean, in great, uh, just a great product to use. A couple of put-ups here as well. You can buy it in the, uh, in, the, in the concentrate here, which is really a free pour. Again, it's relying on you to do the mixing, or you can buy it in our two liter, or half gallon US or our 4.73 liter or 1.25 gallon US concentrate. So let's show you how to put this in a wall mounted dispenser. This is our Enviro Solutions ES364 neutral disinfectant. No chemical contact cap here, okay, for safety. I want to take my mating cap, press slightly, make sure it's good and snug in there slide the container in there, make sure there's no kinks in the actual concentrate hose, and then lock the door, pull the key out so nobody can get in there who isn't authorized to be in there. So you can see clearly, I can see in my sight glass what's in here, and that's all there is to do to loading it. Now this particular dispenser has our ES72C, which is our universal hydrogen peroxide base cleaner. We'll talk about that a little later date, but that'll allow you to clean a facility various soil levels and then have the peace of mind of the accurately diluted proper disinfectant for your facility. When it comes to the dispenser you can see a put up, there's two put ups here. This is my high flow bucket fill. So basically I'm going to take my hose to my auto scrubber, my wet uh, mop bucket. It's going to flow fast. I select what I want, if I want the disinfectant, I want a light duty, I want a medium duty, or if I even want fresh water, because sometimes you're going to need that for rinsing and things like that. So I select that, aim my hose, push the button, that's all there is to it. Accurate dilution every single time, okay? When it comes to the trigger bottles, okay, you can see here we also have all of our uh, secondary labels that are available for you on request as well and they go on and they cover all of your regulatory compliance from GHS and things. So this one they have color coded trigger spray, spray heads okay, that we have available but we also have flip caps. Flip caps, some facilities don't allow trigger sprayers to be used for atomizing uh, in the air so this has a flip cap that basically just comes up. okay. You would take your, your bottle, like so, put it on, select that I want my disinfectant, press the button, fill it to your desired level, okay? 
then put the cap back on and as you can see I've got a really nice product that don't, doesn't rely on spraying I can spray it on my microfiber cloths on surfaces directly and away I go always keep it close when it's not in use so that's really 364 and the dispenser if I want to use a light duty a medium duty and a heavy duty it's here for you and one last important thing before we sign off today all of your wall posters, adhesive backings, they back, they'll actually mount easily on any particular surface, all color coded. If I want the blue product for glass and surface cleaning, green for spray and wipe, the washroom is orange, and of course disinfection is red. So it'll actually help people, new employees just starting, that if they're cleaning certain surfaces, they can relate here and relate to the color very easy. Sometimes language barriers are in the way, so these charts work very well in all languages, and trilingual languages for you as well, and we're all set. You can see you can get an optional rack for putting your dispensers on the wall, or sorry, your bottles on the wall, all color-coded, ready to go, easy one product one place all of your regulatory compliance binders in the background of that and we're set so so 364 one nice thing about it as well in the united states it also has a parvovirus claim for those people in veterinarians and animal hospitals and shelters and boarding kennels and things like that one other great reason why you'd pick it under an epa number in the united states thanks for joining us